Hello there and welcome to some Crusader Kings 2 with the Game of Thrones mod. Today we're going to be playing in the Robert's Rebellion scenario. Just a nice little short one, playing as good old Robert when he was back in his early 20s. Oh, actually he's 19, never mind that. But we are going to try and usurp the throne from the Targaryen tyrants. And we're going to be playing in Iron Man mode of course, because why the hell would we not? We're going to be seeing what we can do with our good old Warhammer. Aren't we? My beloved Lyanna has been kidnapped by Prince Rhaegar. After protesting this cruel act to King Ares, Rickard Stark has been cruelly burned alive whilst his son Brandon looked on. Now Eddard Stark and I, with our allies, stand against the Mad King's tyranny, and I will crush the Targaryens with my hammer. If Lord Paramount Robert dies before he takes the throne, then upon victory a great council shall be held to determine who should sit on the Iron Throne. During the Dornish Wars, Lord Wal defeated the fair forces of Ores Baratheon as they attempted to assault the Boneway. Lord Baratheon and his men were ransomed, However, they were freed only after having their sword hands cut off, so they would not be able to use them again against Dawn. Ori's vowed vengeance against House Wyle, and the infamous deeds of the Wilds during this war are still remembered. In Thornton and Old Oak, as well as Storm's End, House Wyle has Well House Wyle holds feud against House Baratheon, from when Ori's cut off Walter Wild's sword hand in vengeance. Then his other hand and both feet, and he, which he called usury. Right, we'll not forget what the wilds did, so uh, we have a blood feud of this house over here. So, this is someone we're going to want to try and uh, eliminate from the face of the earth. Let's make that as a little side goal to besiege this man's land. Anyway, here is the war set up. We are friends with good old John Aaron. Also good friends with Lord Hoster of the Trident. But we're best friends with our brother-in-law, Eddard. His uh, air engine is not too good with his stats at all. Uh, of course she is off. Doesn't look too well. we got to try and rescue her. My brother Stannis. What are we to do with him? He has a full head of hair. We should try to marry him off for marriages. Now I am going to implement a little rule. I cannot marry him to House Lannister. Because that would just uh, make it a little bit too much easier. Them being a, a grey area of do they join us, do they not, is something I'd like to keep. So I'm going to try and send off the good, the good Lord Stannis elsewhere. Now there is the neutral house of Frey with 4 odd thousand men. That is quite an alliance if I were to attempt to get it. There are no other neutral houses in these places. But there are neutral houses over here in the Westerlands. It might be good to have an ally in the Westlands because it would significantly weaken the Lannisters if something were to happen. It's a force we could use against them if they were to join in the war opposing us. I do also have Renly. So we're going to see what marriages are options for Lord Stannis. Phrase. And a Lady Lefford. Uh, no, I want to sort by age. Um, around his own sort of age would be best. Yeah, it looks like Lady Lefford would be the option around there. House Lefford, is that you? No, you are Serret. Who, who is Lefford? Which one of you is Lefford? House Lefford, so that would be your sister. 4,000 odd men. I'll attempt to make this match with Lord Stannis. I'll arrange the marriage between you and Stannis. Very good. We'll also find a match for Lord Renly. Arrange betrothal, he is 5. So somebody around that similar sort of age would be best or even younger. And we might well go the way of the fray. 
Because to have them in the war would be a great bonus. If there are any young Freys, that is. I'm sure they were, there are somewhere. There's a pain. Pain can be useful. Doesn't appear to be a Frey. With any sort of age range. So what we'll do is we'll go for House Pain. Three odd thousand men. But let's arrange our betrothal there. Between Renly and Lady Aurel Payne. Very good. We'll attempt to do that. Now, I also need to create a title. You know what? I will. But I'll not do it just yet. Uh, pick an ambition. I would like to win the war. Uh, win the war? Win the war. Excellent. And I would like the focus to be on war. Not hunting. Not just yet. I have some focuses to put through. Designated regents. We'll go for our grandfather. And bodyguards. We'll go for Ormond Bolling. Courtney Penrose, Gowan Wild, Richard Hawk, and not Lyanna Stark. The court Jester, we will uh, we'll give that position to not a lord. How about Herbert? Herbert will do a good job. Keeper of the Swans, we'll give that to Lord Swan. The Master of the Horse, we'll give that to Lord Buckler. Master of the Hunt, we'll give that to Lord Penrose. The High Almona, we'll give that to Lord Selwyn Taft. The Cup Bearer, we'll give that to Paxter Selmy. The Court Tutor, we'll give that to somebody of intelligence. Maester Crescent, very good. Right, Commanders, we have Selwyn. Donald Noy is the lowest here, so we'll replace him with... Uh, let's replace him with uh, Lord Karen here. Very good. Now let's see if there is anybody else who would be willing to join us. Who is part of our culture and will stick to our culture. And there's a dear lady there. She is huge. Um, a Lord Sunglass. We'll invite him over as he is willing to join us. Very good. He's also good for a bodyguard. And a Humphrey Macy. We'll invite him as well. Boris Blount, another good little knight. We'll invite him over to court. I'm sure he won't turn into an absolute drunk. Uh, that looks to be it. So we'll invite those gentlemen over. Excellent. I'm still missing a bodyguard slot, but we'll sort that out once men arrive. Now, let us raise our forces, which aren't terribly strong at all. And then what we're going to do is not create that. I'm not going to do that. That's just a little bit uh, a little bit tricky. We're going to send the men straight into here to attempt to defeat this force. Now, Lord Felwood, it's a shame you have gone against me. As you do have quite a fair few men. So we're going to send our men around this way to attempt to miss you there. These forces, we're going to attempt to meet there. The rest of you also go on to Thornton. Right, let's start moving and see what ends up with these armies. See who ends up where. Right, that is not perhaps the best. We're going to get all of you to go here. You will uh, go around this way. We're going to try to get all of our armies to survive, ideally. You're all going to go there and attempt to take them out straight away. And you are all going to go here. Excellent. Now, who's in charge here? Just me. I will take it. I don't need flanks. Flanks are for pussies. Now hopefully we can get through here and into here and take these out straight away without losing too many forces around these units. Excellent. We have arranged our marriage here. They will not have taken alliance unless we bribe them. Treacherous fools of house pain. But we will then secure an alliance, which is very good. Excellent. We are having quarters arrive. Excellent. Lord Macy has arrived. Good man. And we have ex had an al a marriage proposal there, except again, he will not accept an alliance unless we were to bribe him. These damn Westermen, they do like their gold. You can give them that. They have, they do have a price which they will stick to. Excellent. So the Paynes are willing to join us. We'll call them to arms in this war. Very good. That's one extra force who we can... Uh, have supporting us here. What's this? Your brother Stannis has come uh, into chamber seeking a word. He is refusing to marry. Oh. 
Stannis, you fool of a man. This this alliance is terrific. Why would you do such a thing? Well, Stannis and have been married is... Uh... Yes, yeah, as everyone's concerned. Are we able to just ignore Stannis? No, I'm not. Now that is a huge issue. So let's try and marry them again. Arrange marriage to Stannis. Very good. So he's declined that alliance offer, so hopefully we'll be able to sort that out again. Excellent, we have defeated uh, his forces there. We have another knight joining us, so let us go back to our commanders. Who is new? Who is now the best? We have Stannis. Should we give him a position, or should we leave him the castle? Let's give Sunglass the position of commander, and we will give uh, we'll give Macy a defender slot there. Right well, now, these forces are all going to go straight into that. They're already locked into it, so I don't know what I can do to avoid it. But we have defeated them there, so now these forces are going to go straight over here and join in with that. Excellent. Has anybody else done anything here? No, more forces have joined against us. But we do have the pains on our side. Now the pains, if they will, I would appreciate joining me. I'm not going to command the other people, because that would just make it too overpowered. But the pains I am going to call to my aid. And hopefully the leopards, if I can get them. Right, they have again accepted that marriage proposal, and they will uh, accept the alliance. Very good. Excellent. We've also gained the phrase without tempting them with a marriage, so we'll let the phrase do whatever they do. Hopefully the pains and the leopards are able to join me on my merry way. It's a shame I can't get around this, because he is just refusing here. So we did gain the prestige. Fine, I can't make you marry. Can I just invite her to my court instead? What if I arranged her marriage to Herbert? It's currently going for another... Uh. Yeah, Stannis, you're being a bit of a pain in the ass here. Can we get her to marry Herbert instead? It wouldn't do anything, would get no non-aggression. Oh, Lady Lefford. The Leffords would have been good. They are very uh, powerful here. What if we get Stannis betrothed to the daughter instead? Maybe he prefers them a bit younger. Maybe that's what he's into. Excellent, these forces here should now be able to slip through. We'll try to arrange in this sort of area of the map. Who's threatening to board them there? Ah, there is a little force. Right, all of my units, can we please try to get towards Storm's End? That would be terrific. Excellent, they've accepted a betrothal there. So maybe now we can get them into the war. Find him someone nice. So, Almond Bolling would like to marry. No, I'll not give you permission. Nah, just simply, uh, I'll find you someone nice, but you have to wait. Excellent, who have we captured? Lord Langward. Very good. Very good indeed. Now, they are coming down with 11,000. How many men do the Dornish have? The Dornish have 16,000. And then there's you with 40,000. You are the main army in this. You, I don't expect to have too many at all. 17. I have 15. And hopefully... Hopefully we have the pains coming down to join us. Right, you will be left to rot. And the rest of my forces over... Excellent, he has accepted Lance again. Could you please join the war this time? I have already paid you for it. Good man. So we have even more forces from the Westlands coming over to join us here. Very, very good indeed. It'll take a while for all of these gentlemen to get their armies together, unfortunately. But when they do, it will be terrific. Now let me just set a few characters here as special interest. 
Just so that I always know what is going on with them. Also, people like Lord William and uh, Lord Howland would be good for special interest. I will make you over here, good sir, special interest. We'll make the king special interest and his son special interest. We'll also make you special interest and you special interest and is it your brother? Your son will also be special interest. And the high tower, how do we get to him? Is he an uncle of sorts? Near enough. Now oh, let's get Went as well. Where is he? He's a brother. Alright, Oswell. There we go. Really, Ned? Fire sword added to his treasury. Oh, that, that, this here was actually quite a force, but we are coming in strong. He, however, has generals. When do we arrive? Uh, 21st to the 7th moon. We arrive on time. Ah, he's created the ring, is he? Excellent. Leftwards have decided to join us. Right, I'm here. I want the Leffords as well, if they can make it. You married me, you'll join me. Terrific, that's them all dealt with. Now we are down to 14 odd thousand. So we are going to be outnumbered by Tar Targaryen forces. Then let's meet here instead so we get our men together sooner rather than later. We can support them 15.7. 14.7. There's also the risk of attrition. Now let's just simply go to Storm's End. And I'll simply go to Storm's End. Alright, we are losing balance here. Are either of you neutral? No, you're all against me. Who wants to find someone? Lord Gowan Wild. I will find you someone nice because you are relatively old, good sir. Beryl. Little relative of yours, I'm sure. There you go, you old pervert. Have a bit of that. Excellent, the Leffords are involved. I knew they were. Not sure why this is news. Right, they're coming in. And we're going to be outnumbered. Right, what we got here? We've got an army. Me in the centre, Richard on the flank, Courtney on the other flank. Everyone else is going to slowly pour in. They are going to have the numbers here to uh, win it. Potentially. We are very good on the centre. Excellent. Well, I'm sure you appreciate your, I'm assuming, uncle being up to no good in there. So when do they arrive? 28th, 28th. Right, so that's the best I'm going to get here. Let's re-merge these. Courtney, Roberts, and Richard. Very good. And everyone else is going to uh, come in on the other flanks. And the Gowin and Vardris. His little wet nurse hat. Alright, we're taking on 12,000 first, and looks like they have a very strong left flank under Lord Stokeworth. But hopefully, we can destroy their centre flank faster than they can do anything about it. Excellent, now we'll aid our brothers. Excellent, so they'll all slowly come through. But there is the risk of all of these other gentlemen getting in the way. So we have defeated them. And most of our forces should be able to join us. Temple of First Moon. Would you guys arrive over there? Later. Good for you. Excellent, we killed seven odd thousand men. You can't get much better than that. Right, Mutons are causing havoc. Right, Roberts, Richard, and Courtney, get ready and go over here. You men are going to be leaving anyway. But you'll probably get stuck, so we'll see what we can do about that. So we're going to fight quite a few thousand men here and hopefully destroy them. Very good, very good. 
We are a general not to be messed with. We killed and surrounded every single one of them. Right, Robert, Courtney, and Richard. Where do we go? We can try and meet them. 14,000. I don't really want to be outnumbered that much, but we could take out these fools and probably destroy them. They maybe destroy these fools as well, while allowing my other friends to get in positions. Now, these other forces are going to try and join us, so maybe the better thing to do would be to meet up with the pains. Excellent. House Fossaway is doing very well. And on that note, Lord Fossaway, I am going to end this episode. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Hopefully you enjoy it. If you do, leave a like and subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.